Hey, what's going on everybody? Do you want to know how to install mods, texture packs, and all of that stuff on Minecraft for console? Well, keep watching then. To install mods onto console, whether you're playing on PlayStation, Xbox, or Switch, you want to make sure you're playing on the latest version of Minecraft for the console. You then want to go to play. You want to make sure you have a realm. If you don't already have a realm, you're going to get a 30 day free trial for it. Now once you have a realm, you then want to go to the settings of the realm. You want to either make a world or you can import in an existing world to your realm. Now to do that, we can go to create a new world. Let's say you wanted to use one of the seeds from the template area. So let's go to templates. We then want to pick one of these seeds right here. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of different seeds to pick from. So I want, let's see. So I want this Taiga village right here. So I'm going to pick it. It imports the seed as you can see. You can mess around with whatever other settings you want for the world. You can also, you know, change your game mode and difficulty to whatever you want it to be. Name it, you know, anything. I'm going to name it um, Realms World here. You can name it whatever your heart desires. Alright, now if you're going to be installing an add-on that, you know, requires certain experimental features, you're going to want to turn whichever feature it needs on. Now you only need to do this if you know you want to use this world you're creating and you want to use a mod or add-on that requires experimental features on. But if it doesn't require any of these experimental features on, you don't have to turn them on at all. Now once you've got your world with all the settings and the seed and everything you want, you then want to pick create on realm server. Once you've done that, you'll then want to pick the realm that you have. And then you can pick a slot. Now if you don't have any worlds existing, it'll just be a plus icon. But if you have worlds already, you want to just pick one of those slots and replace it. Hit confirm if you're replacing the world and then it's going to create the world and start uploading it to the realm so that you can use it on the realm. Once it's uploaded to the realm, you can exit without saving. Go to the realm settings to make sure it uploaded and boom, there it is. So if there's an existing world you wanted to apply a texture pack to on your console, you can upload this world to the realms and apply that texture pack. Now that you have chosen the world you want to use and it's uploaded to your realms, you then want to switch over to the device that you'll be downloading this texture pack or world or whatever it is to your realm. Now go over to a website. I recommend MCBDL. I've picked out a texture pack and a mod as you can see here. Once you have picked what you want to download, you want to go down to the download section of what you've picked. Then you want to click on the download. Click I'm not a robot because you guys obviously you're not a robot clearly. Want to let it download. Once it's downloaded, click get downloads, click the download, and then it'll download. Now, if you're downloading something that takes you to a different website, you want to just make sure that you're being careful. Now, go to wherever it is that you downloaded this add-on or texture pack or mod, whatever it is that you're trying to download. And if it's a .mc file, you want to either click it, tap it, or if it's a .zip file, you want to uncompress, unzip it, and then move that folder into the Minecraft file location of the device you're downloading it on. If it's a .mc file, it will say import at the top of the screen and then say it's successfully completed if it has. Now, if it's a .zip folder, it'll already be in the game. And there's a way you can actually check this. You can either go to storage right here or you can go to global resources depending on if it's a texture pack or a behavior pack. Now, if it's a texture pack, you should be able to just go to global resources and you'll be able to see it somewhere in the list. Now, if you downloaded a behavior pack, you want to go to storage, go to behavior packs, and then look for it in this list here. Now, if it's there, you've installed it correctly. Once you've loaded up the realm settings, you then want to tap on the world, 
tap edit world. Once you've tapped edit, it'll then load up the settings for that specific world. You can see it says game settings, backups, and then there's a section for add-ons. You want to go over to add-ons. Now, if it's just the texture pack, you can find it somewhere in this list. I downloaded the bare bones, so I'm going to activate that. Now it's activated and I'm good to go. But since I also installed a mod slash add-on, I want to then look for that in the list. Now I installed the little block guys, so I want to find them. Here we go. Found it. Activated. You then want to choose add the pack anyway. Now to make sure it's installed both the resource pack and the behavior pack, you want to go to the behavior section, go to active, and there you should see it's activated. Now if it's not activated, you can go to my packs and look for it on the list and then activate it that way. Now once you've activated both, you can then exit out of these game settings it will then upload these files to the realm you can then switch over to your console whether that's the xbox the playstation or the switch i am back on my playstation now and once you are back on your console of choice you can then go to the realm settings edit world and you'll see it says world game settings backups and then it says add-ons resource packs and behavior packs so you want to then go to active and you're able to see it says unknown name this pack is missing it is there it does say this only when it's as a realm if it's as a single player world it'll show for that texture pack or that add-on or mod whatever it is you installed so now you can either keep playing on this world as a realm server or you can play this as a single player world this part is up to you, but for those who want to be able to use this just as a regular single player world and don't want to use it as a realms server anymore, you want to go down to download world in the game settings, hit download world, it will start initializing a download. It may take a little bit, so be patient, sit with it. Once it has finished downloading that world, you want to back out of all those settings for that realm, then find the world on the list and open it up like I am right now. I've downloaded that world that I had uploaded to the realms, and as you can see, I am now able to use this texture pack. So I downloaded the bare bones one, and as you can see, the bare bones texture pack is indeed applied. As you can see, everything looks different, and I can also check out that add-on that I installed. Okay, so I grabbed the spawn egg for this add-on, and now I can start spawning all these different guys here, as you can see. So it does actually work as it's supposed to. You can see I have the spawn egg for them, and they are walking around like they're supposed to. And side note, if you do encounter any sort of issues when you're trying to get this spawn egg from your inventory or whatever it is from your inventory and it doesn't let you back into your inventory and doesn't show in your hotbar, then you can just exit the world and go back in and then it'll be fixed and let you use the add-on in rest of the world like you're supposed to. If you ever want to stop using the texture pack you installed to that world, you just go to active, deactivate it, and then it'll move into my packs and it'll be there until you decide to start using that texture pack again which is pretty nice that it's there so you don't have to worry about having to re-upload this world to your realms to have to apply it again it'll just stay in this world sadly it doesn't save it to the rest of the game you will have to every time you want a specific world to have a texture pack or add-on or you want to make a new world for a specific mod, you will then have to put that into your realms and apply it to the realms and then download the world. Alright guys, that's how you get all the different texture packs, add-ons, worlds, and everything like that onto console so that you can play on your PlayStation, Xbox, or Switch and be able to get this content from the MCPE DL website or some other website instead of having to be locked to only getting stuff from the marketplace, whether that's stuff that's free or stuff that costs money. Now with this way, everything will be free and you won't have to worry about spending any sort of money.